Hi, and welcome to the Home Assistant How-To with Bearded Tinker. Today we will be playing with the Elgato Key Light or Key Light Air lights. We'll start in a couple of seconds. Before we begin today's episode, I really would like to thank all the members who have joined my channel. Thank you very much, your support really means a lot. And now, let's get back to video. In today's episode, we will be working with the Elgato Key Light and Key Light Air lights. What we will be doing is, we will be adding them to the Home Assistant, then we will be doing some automations with them, and also we will be creating additional automations that will be triggered based on the condition of the light itself. So, let's get cracking. First of all, we need to add the component. So let's go to Configuration, Integrations. And if by any chance you don't see your light here, there are two ways. One way is to reset your light. And after power cycling or turning it off and on, in a couple of minutes you should probably see it here. But if by any chance you don't see it, you just open your control center, go to Accessory Settings, and here you will find the IP address. Remember the IP address because we will now need to type it inside the Home Assistant. Press on the plus sign, search for Elgato, Key Light. This also works for the Elgato Key Light Air. And type in the IP address 192.168.1139. Press Submit. Select the area where this device is located, for me this is loft, and press on finish. Now, as you can see, we now have one device with only one entity, and we can now add it to our user interface. Of course, you can play and change the entity ID. I will not be doing this now for this recording setup because I still have to buy additional light and then one will be called left and the other one will be called right. This is right, right? Let's go to overview, lights, three dots, edit dashboard, press on the plus sign, light, and here we will select Elgato Key Light Air and let's press save. Okay, so now we have this Elgato Key Light Air. We can set the brightness and it's working. You can turn it off and on again. So what can we do with this? Adding the light itself is pretty straightforward. Anybody can do it. It takes only a couple of seconds. But what if I want to do some automations based on the status of the light? Or if, for example, I want to make a special button that would be triggered when I want to go live on the stream. One thing that I know is that when I'm streaming, I have my brightness at 100%, which is this one here, and my color temperature is set to cold. Don't ask me why, but I think that with these settings, my web camera captures what I want, and also my green screen doesn't have any issues. This is the setting for my recording setup. What if I could read the state and then get notification, for example, on my speakers or on my mobile phone, that the stream has started or that the stream is about to start? How can we do that? Let's go to Developer Tools. Let's look here at the status of current light. And we can see that currently our color temperature is set to 143, which is minimum and brightness is currently set at 255, which is maximum. So we can create automation that will be triggered when the color temperature is 143 and the brightness is 255. Let's go to Configuration, Automations, plus sign, skip this one. And first automation will be Stream is about to start. We will use trigger device Elgato. We will change this to turned on because we want this based on the trigger when it's turned on. 
and duration is something that you have to be i wouldn't say careful but you should definitely avoid false positives so put here something like two minutes or five minutes so that if you by accident turn the light on you have time to change it before you get notification for the purpose of this video i will put here five and now we will add two conditions one condition numeric state elgato brightness so we said that i record at a brightness of 255 and i can put here 250 so that any time that brightness goes above 250 this condition is fulfilled the other condition would be for color temperature once again numeric state elgato color temperature and we want this to be below 150 because as i said i record at 143 here you are free to do any kind of action you want you can start a script make a verbal notification or a speaker and things like that but for the purpose of this video i will call a service notify persist notification message stream is about to start grab a drink okay and we will save this let's go back and as you can see we have now new automation stream is about to start that has never been triggered let me turn off my key light air and turn it back on and in five seconds we should see here trigger yes it has been triggered let's check the notification and here is the notification okay great this was one example here we have automation that is triggered based on the status of the light and since you can control your light outside of home assistant for example on your stream deck if you have it or on the mobile phone or on the app on the computer you can then have home assistant be aware of that change let's look at one other possible automation so let's say that i have finished my stream and i have forgot to turn off my light it can sometimes happen well to be more precise i forgot to turn the lights off most of the time so what could be possible automation possible automation is that each time this key elgato air light is on at a specific time i want home assistant to turn it off why because i know that i will not be streaming at 10 45 or also i know that i'm not recording usually at 10 45 pm so let's create automation click on a plus sign skip let's call this forgot lights again for trigger this time we will be using time and we want to have fixed time so as i said i want this to be triggered and 22 45 00, 0. but what i want to do is i want to check the condition if device elgato is on i'm not interested in duration it can be five minutes or five hours i just want to turn it off so the action would be device elgato turn off elgato key light air and save this was a simple automation what would it do at 22 45 my key elgato air light will be turned off of course there are other ways you can control it and you do not have to own elgato key light air or key light for this i just think that this is a great light and i do use it not just for the recording and for the streams i also use it when i work on the computer or play games but as i said i do not use it at the settings that are same for the stream so when i play games i dim light a bit as when i play games i do not want to have bright light shining directly in my eyes some other things that you can do for example if you are a streamer on twitch on youtube or any other platform what you could do is you can have notifications when your stream should end for me for example at 7 45 pm i could have light strobe a couple of times so that i'm aware that i should be wrapping up the stream the other thing is if you have two lights 
then you can do some other automations. For example, if only one light is on, then probably you're not streaming, you are just playing game or working at a computer. But if both lights are on and both lights have that settings, you can then have notification for other household members or push to your Twitch account, Twitter, Discord or whatever that you are about to start streaming. So really there are tons and tons of options, as I said, not just with Elgato Keylight and Keylight Air, but also all other smart lights that give you possibility to track brightness, color temperature or color itself. And this is it for this Home Assistant How-To with Bearded Tinker. I hope you enjoyed this short episode in regard to Elgato key lights. And if you have any kind of a comment or a question, don't forget that you can always find me on the Discord server, but feel free to leave comment down in the comment section below. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future updates. And I'll be seeing you soon. Until next time, bye bye and have fun.